Hello, my friends. All right. I, and again, I've said this several times. I do not have subscribers. I have friends. We communicate freely through the comments. I wish there was a better way. Um, but let's make this quick because I despise and hate doing long videos. Uh, people do long videos simply to gain YouTube time to get co commercials in. You know what? I want to get straight to the point. Um, Referring back, I did a video on the insurance train wreck. Look at that, all right. So, I got some notes here so I don't miss anything. This is very unplanned, but guess what? Let's just get straight to the point, all right. Uh, the insurance train wreck, yes. I predict these insurance companies are gonna be looking, looking for a bailout, not because they need it, but because they can. I'm telling you, if you think about it, most people don't have car accidents. Most people don't, you can't see our home over here, don't lose their homes to fire. There is a small fraction that do. Uh, so there's all these multi trillions of money coming in, but the insurance companies seem to panic with, oh my God, uh, we had some claims we had to pay out. Okay, well good, you should pay your claims. All right, uh, and I'll tell you this very quickly, I, State Farm, I'll never go back to. I'm gonna say this very quickly so I do not waste time on this uh, video with my notes. Many years ago, uh, lightning struck a tree on our house in Jasper, Texas. Uh, had a thousand dollar deductible. Uh, I think the uh, the claim they, that State Farm played, paid, uh, paid out was $1,300. Well, guess what? At renewal time, State Farm went up on me for $1,300 exactly. What kind of bull is that, you know? I dropped them, and you know what? People say, oh my God, I've been with this agent for 40 years, man, I, I can't change. You know what? There's a good chance you, 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 you've been screwed for 40 years. All right, I'm gonna fast forward on this. When you see, matter of fact, I'm gonna go way past my notes here. I don't know where they're at here, but let me tell you this here. Oh, here it is. I'm going way fast forward my notes here. When you hear the deep voice guy that says, you're in good hands, we got you. Yeah, they got you all right. Okay, number two, uh, let's see. Remember Flo, that beautiful lady, that funny lady that does, I believe, progressive? My progressive insurance just went up 12% on, uh, let's see, my motorcycle, I cover my motorcycle, my Dodge Ram truck, and a uh, Camry back there with liability. Went up 12%, no accidents or tickets. And they said, well, it's because of the area you, you live in. Well, I live 35 minutes from a Walmart where there's no traffic. Another bunch of, uh... all right, I whispered it, all right, so I don't get edited by YouTube. And for you people buying from the, do not buy your insurance from the lizard. You know who I'm talking about, that Geico thing? Never, ever, ever buy from the lizard. Here's what I would suggest you do. You find an agent, which is a, uh, what I call, if I remember correctly, a non-captive agent where they're just tied down to one company, you get an independent agent who uh, represents many companies. Uh, there's some good agents out there. There's some poor agents. You talk to someone, let them do the shopping for you. They can research anywhere from, from 10 to 15, 20, 30, 40 different companies. Everybody's situation is different. And we're going to get into this, okay? So I didn't mean to get off track, but this is very important for your money and your life savings. Uh, let's see here. Uh, we talked about the bailout and I, I've said this again, I've got a someone very close to me that's paying way, way more in insurance on their car than they need to. They got all this full coverage stuff. The car is not worth $2,500 yet. They're paying $250 a month, about one year's worth of premiums. And you know what? It's a lost cause. You can't talk to them. They're going to do what they want to do because they can't say no. And let me tell you this, no is a wonderful word. I have found that most, let me say this, 60% of the population cannot say no to someone when you're buying a car or when you're buying insurance. No can be great. And when you say no to somebody, it's a great, I can tell no to my daughter, my granddaughter, I have no problem saying no. Many of you need to learn what that means. No is a wonderful word. I learned that from a lady by the name of Sunny 
back in, um, oh my gosh, from the Woodville, Texas area. I can't remember her name. Anyway, things you can do to, uh, let's see here. Oh, most people are clueless on what their insurance covers. Absolutely true. I'm going to go ahead and just, this is just me. If you were to ask the average person, what all does your insurance cover or not cover, they couldn't tell you. You're... 90% of the people out there are paying more of what they need to, all right? Number one, all right, there's about nine things we're going to cover. Rental. Do you need to have car rental insurance on your policy? Maybe yes, maybe no, all right? Now, in my family here, we have, or I have a motorcycle. My Suzuki V-Strom, I love this bike. My wife has this Toyota RAV4. We use that kind of for vacations and just, you know, for occasions. And I use this uh, Dodge Ram truck here for just pulling on occasions uh, for, tra for a uh, camper or a tractor. We don't do much camping anymore because we can't afford the diesel. All right. So, uh, anyway, rental. You don't need rental if you have a spare vehicle. That's just my opinion. It's up to you. All right. Now, let me ask you this. Full coverage insurance. Do you need full coverage insurance on your vehicle? You know, something. if you've got something a few years old, of course, because, my God, you hit your car or hit a deer or something like that, you can do fifteen, ten, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 worth of damage. Liability is not going to help you, all right? If you've got an older car... Uh, Hello. Hello. I'm doing a video. That's my wife. Say hi. Stop. Ah, she said stop. She hates the camera. All right. All right. Do you need full coverage insurance? Maybe, maybe not. If, you're, if your vehicle's older and it's worth $2,500, you're paying $2,500 in insurance from premiums, dump it, please. You're throwing your money away. All right. Let me get these old man glasses back on, all right? Uh, deductibles, all right? Again, most people don't have accidents or wrecks. I'm just saying. Uh, so I'm going to get some ugly comments on that. Uh, $500 deductible, $1,000 uh, deductible, more, whatever. Uh, you may consider raising that. And here's what the agents is, here's what your agent is going to say. And there's some good agents out there and there's some bad agents. Well, you know, um, Mr. Scott Duckworth, it's only an extra 5 or $10 a month to get that extra dollar. You know what? 10 here adds up, 10 here adds up, and 20 adds up, you know? And guess what? Uh, hey. Uh, I'll say this, uh, insurance uh, brokers or insurance agents are paid by the amount of premium they bring in. Cut them back 5 10%, they don't like it very much. So, especially on numbers, large amounts of, all, uh, of people. <laughs> Number four, okay, let's just say this. Back over here, you have my Dodge Ram truck. It's a little bit older, still in good shape. Got 152,000, 154,000 miles on it. Um, I called to see, should I drop? I wanted to drop it down to liability. Well, here's the thing. Cummins diesel, four-wheel drive, 150-something thousand miles. If I were to hit a deer, I could do ten, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 worth of damage. It would only drop the premium by $17 a month. That's through Progressive, and that leads me to say this. Progressive, you suck. Uh, 32 minutes, the first agent I got to, or I say agent, the customer service rep, didn't know her butt from a hole in the ground. It was awful. Finally got transferred to somebody else after 20 minutes, and she knew a little bit. So progressive, uh, you got your uh, flow out there. She's a pretty lady and she's funny, but your customer service agents are about as poorly trained. I'm not sure if they could pour a uh, piss out of a boot with the uh, instructions on the heel. I'll be honest with you. It's awful. So when you see these crazy commercials out there, trust me, when you see these guys spending millions on their uh, uh, advertising cost, run. Especially, Flo, I like you, but guess what? You're not important to me. Number four, should you drop full coverage? All right, this is very important. I have to fly sometimes. Uh, for things that I do where it's personal or business. All right, if I were to drop the full coverage insurance on my truck back here, which would um, is not that expensive, and I go and rent a vehicle at the airport, guess what? I don't have adequate insurance on a rental car. Consider that 
very, very important. Okay, number five here, never take the lowest price without knowing what your package covers. People say, man, I just want the cheapest insurance I can get. You know what, get it cheap. But guess what, if you get it lowball cheap, you're probably gonna get screwed in the end. If you get into an accident, you've got to know what your package involves. Uh, and I, you know, I can I hear all these people that say, oh, I go with this company because they're the best. I go with this company that goes with the best. The company that you're saying that's the best, they may hate that state or that state or that state or that particular state that's close to the Gulf of Mexico or that state up in New York City or Houston where they have a lot of accidents. So there's no perfect company. Moving right along here, uh, do you need towing? If you're an elderly person and you only drive, say, from the Walmart from your house, it's a few blocks away, probably not. And they'll, if you call and say, take the towing off, they'll say, Mr. Smith, it's only $2 a month. Man, it's only 2 $3 a month. You know what? Screw them. Take it off, all right? Uh, let's see here. I think I said this earlier, number eight, go with an insurance agent that represents multiple companies. You get with someone who really cares about customer service, let them do the shopping for you. So uh, I didn't mean to say that again, but guess what? Uh, and this even includes your homeowner's insurance. That's a gonna be that's gonna be another discussion. I've gotten screwed on that, and I'm gonna teach you my lesson. Uh, never go with the big companies that advertise in stadiums. Well, I think we covered all that. So here again, do what you can do to save you. These guys don't give a about you, they just want your money. And again, there's some great agents out there that look out for their agents. I'm gonna say zero to 100. 10% of them actually do what I call real customer service and searching and advising you. Take your time, do not fall for the bull. This is Scott Duckworth, and I've got a lot more to come. I made a huge insurance mistake on homeowner's insurance. And I want you to learn from my mistakes. If my, my homeowner's insurance went from $1,500 to $1,800 up to around $3,600 to $3,800, all because of two mistakes between the agent and me. That'll be coming up soon. I don't have time to go over it because I'll bore you to death, but guess what? We're getting screwed and only you can say no. My last word is, please, half of you can't say it, learn this. No can be a wonderful word. If you can't say no, you're saying yes to getting screwed and tattooed. This is Scott Duckworth. If you've liked what you've seen, hit the like button or subscribe. Hey, I may be boring you, but it's your money. Thank you again.